So Bailey wants a pool. Cheapo, 14 grand from Walmart, and I, as soon as we got to the house, I didn't like it. <clears throat> didn't even get out of the box. I already didn't like it. So, decided we we're just gonna get, gonna get an above ground and just dig it in the ground a little bit. I didn't realize it was gonna be such a pain in the butt to try to design and do all this myself. Well, we're gonna get an 18 by 33. We're gonna get a 15 by 30. Decided it's 200 more dollars to get an 18 by 33. So that's what we're gonna do. So it's been the last week and a half figuring out where we're gonna put it, trying to des design a deck. It's hard to do that whenever you don't know any codes. But I think I pretty much got it. All right, let's see if I can do this without screwing up. So we're gonna do an 18 by 33 pool. It's gonna go somewhat in the middle. It's gonna start right here at the longer of the two lines. And it's gonna wrap around. The smaller lines are the clearance lines. I think that's how far it's supposed to be excavated. The bigger lines is where the pool should actually be. So it's gonna go around and down. And it's gonna come down here. Okay. So that's where the pool's gonna be. Okay, now from my understanding of reading or trying to read um, code stuff. The, what is it called? The beam can stick out a quarter of an inch, or I'm sorry, a quarter of the board that it's gonna, that it is. I don't know how to describe that. So anyway, these are gonna stick out and go to the wall. That's about two feet. The reason I did that was because I'm gonna have posts coming all the way up to create a pergola and it's gonna go, haven't decided if it's gonna go to this one or to this one and maybe make a big triangle pergola in this area right here. And it should still leave enough room to walk between this post that's gonna be right here. I've set it up to where I think everything is eight by eight, post-wise. Um, there's gonna be roughly seven feet of walking space right here. So you should have plenty of room. Thinking maybe put like a pool box here in this area if it fits and still able to walk. And then there will be a wall that I'm gonna try to make starting here, going out and it's gonna come to there. And then I'm just gonna build a wall that goes around the pool to meet over there to the walkway that's gonna go on this side. So I'm thinking I might need some uh, 10 footers all to make these uh, to make these walls. But this should be plenty of space, have enough room for maybe a couple of chairs along this whole way. And then I think it won't be so bad to maybe if I can uh, get the post far enough away from the pool, maybe have like a little bar to put drinks and stuff along this area. And then, like I said, it's going to meet here, go down, and you'll just be walking this area. There will be stairs. So the only two entrances to the pool area will be to come through the back door all the way through here. There will be a step with a gate. So to go in and you'll step in, this will be like a little landing area. There will also be some steps here going down to this side of the yard. And then whenever you get up here, obviously you can go this way to about right there where that wall is gonna start to go around the pool. 
and then it should have plenty of room for decking to maybe put some chairs along this area some you know some of those lounging chairs hopefully maybe even a small table but yeah so 18 by 33 pool all right do it this way so I don't screw up the video so right now that's where I'm at just a bunch of paint on the ground next week I should have the money <clears throat> order the pool so right now I guess I'm gonna go in put it all in procreate and see how much lumber I'm gonna need and figure out what exactly that's gonna cost but I guess I might put this on YouTube and if it helps anybody awesome if not I'll just document it anyway <laughs> 